Okay, let's get in positions, everyone. Camera one into a fast Two second three. Camera one, track left. Open oh, Watch your focus, Kids are on the air. Kids wanna know. Kids wanna know. Kids wanna know. I'm Chris Eddy. We brought our Kids Wanna Know cameras to Alpine Meadows near Lake Tahoe. The reason? So I can breathe some fresh air, get in touch with nature, and so I don't have to mow the lawn today. But there's another reason. There's some special skiers who have some special challenges, and we're gonna meet them right now. I remember the first time I skied. As you can see, plowing through the snow can be tough, so it was amazing to me both kids and adults who have physical and developmental challenges are able to ski and are really good. Whoa, I'm gonna go left. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Some may not have very good control of their legs or may have lost the use of them. Others can't see very well or are completely blind. Yet, they still have the courage and the desire to learn something new. Like Bruce, who skied 16 years before his accident left him paralyzed. It would have been real easy to sit in a corner and quit. And, and my motto is the hardest door you go out every day is your own front door. I go out in a wheelchair, <laughs> big deal. You know, I'm out there to have fun. I ski and, and, uh, and, and be with your family and friends and to educate and teach and, and, uh, and to see guys like Steve come out from Arizona and learn. And that's what the Adaptive Ski School is about. It's, 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 it's a total process. I mean, you bring someone in here who's maybe timid and, uh, and they go away with a big smile on their face and they're ready to come back the next day and do it again. That's where the Tahoe Adaptive Ski School in Alpine Meadows comes in. A small group of instructors with very big hearts who become teacher and friend to the students. You're all on your own, buddy. You're good. Stand up. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Nice work. The first thing you'll notice is that adaptive skiers have a little different equipment. What we have here is we have a Bi Unique. Um, it's designed for somebody who has uh, upper body strength and the ability to turn themselves, but maybe not a quite as quick a reactionary balance. Um, so what we have is we have a plastic bucket that fits around their legs and ties in. Um, then we have outriggers that go on their arms. This helps them turn and initiate their turns and uh, helps them hold their balance. Um, we have the straps that come around the chest and some that come the legs. Then we also have one that comes around the waist uh, to make sure that the people don't fall in and out of the bucket when they're going down the hill. The skis go up on an automatic edge. It oscillates from side to side. Therefore, they create an automatic carved turn, side to side. They just do it by leaning and uh, using their body to help them turn. Besides gloves and goggles, we're all set to go. Jump on the chairlift and we're off down the slope. We're off and running. Now, this piece of equipment is a uh, ski walker, and this would be used by somebody who can stand up, but maybe would walk with crutches or something like that and where they need the support of actually putting, bearing their weight on the sides. This device is called a ski bra and what it does is that it holds the ski tips together but it still allows a little bit of movement for the student to walk if they need to walk like getting on and off the chair. What this does is, is for a person that maybe doesn't have good enough control of their legs to keep their ski tips together. We use um, these nylon webbing straps called reins to help control the direction of the skier and uh, myself as the ski instructor what I'll do is I'll get behind Susan my student and uh, I can actually control the direction that she turns and this mono ski may sound tough to master but actually it may be easier the advantage I've got is I've only got one ski and you've got two to worry about which makes it easier for me to ski. That sounded like a challenge to me, so I gave it a shot. Oh, it's easier than I thought. Really, the principle of skiing is the same. It's just that we use we, we use a weight and an unweight with our shoulders, is how we like to do it, and you don't turn your shoulders at all. And really, what's kind of interesting is you can feel the ski. You can, I can actually, when I really, if I'm cranking down a steep slope and I, I lean over on an edge, I can feel that ski snap me just like you're flexing, just like I used to if I could stand with my knees and boots. And that's the idea is you try to power through it. The outriggers are really just for balance. You don't ski on these. And that's, I think that's the biggest thing you see in a beginner skier is they think that, well, I have to ski with these. And these are really just for touch. It's really just to, to kind of find your point because what you want to do is be able to do that eventually. But before you can be as good as Bruce, you need to practice. 
and that's what Steve is working on today. Okay, on this, let's go straight and do some balance drills, okay? See if you can find your balance and lift up those rigs. Nice, good. But most everyone agrees that the toughest part is getting on and off the lift. Go, wiggle again, wiggle again. Good, that's you. Up, oh, you're down a little bit. Like most skiers, you're not going to get it right on the first try, and Steve knows that. So the only thing to do is get up, brush off the snow, and try again. All right, hey, not too bad. We fell off yeah. a little bit to the side, but you know what? You got off for the first time by yourself, and that's a good accomplishment. And I even learned some new stuff while skiing, like watching out that your photographer doesn't hit any poles. Oh, oh shit. Thanks, Chris, for the spot. Sorry about that, Hal. These kids did a lot better than I did on the slopes, and they know what skiing is all about. You're going fast, and the wind is hitting you. It's fun. How about just for the rest of your life, you're going to keep skiing? No. You're not? How come? Until I'm a, until I'm a grown-up, I'm not going to ski when I'm a grown-up it's like $80 to get in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're physically challenged or not, don't be on the sidelines. Get in the game. And remember... Looks like he's doing really good. Our friend Bruce has a great motto. There's three things you gotta have. You gotta have fun, you gotta have the wind in your face, and you gotta have a smile on your face. No!